So what's the deal with needle palms, folks? I'll tell you the deal with needle palms. Rapidophyllum hystrix. They are the most cold tolerant palm tree on the face of the earth, but that doesn't mean they don't like heat. So I gotta watch where I'm stepping in here, man. It's just it's really overgrown. And uh, here's a cluster. Let me just rip these weeds out of here. Here's a cluster of needle palms here and here. And they're <laughs> neglected. I just haven't been bothered with them. There's actually uh, Camerops growing in there too. There's Camerops. There's some Sable Miner growing in there. So needle palms are native to the southeastern United States and they do require high, high heat to put on sufficient growth. So this far north, uh, they're definitely not going to be as happy as they would be in the deep south. They will exist, they will grow slow, and they are cold hardy, but you're not going to get the growth you would, like, say, if you're growing them in, uh, well, let's just say southern Tennessee or southern Missouri or Georgia or Mississippi or Louisiana or Florida. They will grow here. And uh, they're not easy to find. I used to grow them from seed, but I can't be bothered anymore. They're just too slow and uh, not worth my while. So I stick with Trachycarpus palms. Trachycarpus palms are, uh, have a proven track record here. They grow fast and they're a nice arborescent uh, palm tree. So I'm going to have to get my gloves and weed in here. And uh, when I say gloves, because these things do have big uh, long needles on the... Uh, on the trunks and I don't want to get jabbed. I've been jabbed with them before. So anyway, they're a clump, they're a clump forming palm, like a Camerops. And uh, they do seem to thrive in moisture, full sun, lots of heat. And, uh, and like I say, they are king of the frost beaters and they are a fan palm, just like a Trachycarpus. So in the deep south, they form huge clumps. And up here, I've never seen any huge clumps. I mean, these ones have been in the ground for quite a few years and we have another one in a pot. It does well too so there you are needle palms try one if you can find them they're not common in Canada you're not going to probably rarely ever find one in the nursery trade if you do scoop one up and throw it in your palm collection all right because they are actually a beautiful palm one of my favorite hardy palms and they will I mean god if you had enough of them you could make a hedge if you lived in a hot climate right you lived in the deep south you could have a needle palm hedge would be just awesome all right folks thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos here on this channel. Cheers.